The sun rises at its appropriate time, and sets every day. All energy for life to exist on earth is obtained from the sun. The sun has been considered a deity since ages in many cultures. We've become so used to the sun rising and setting daily, that we probably don't spare a thought about what will happen of our sun in the future. Our sun has existed for 4.5 billion years now. But will it remain like this forever? Is there a possibility that our sun will someday die? Does our sun have what it takes to be a supernova? But what exactly is a supernova? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. A supernova, simply put, is an extremely bright, super-powerful explosion of a star. It's the biggest blast humans can ever see. There are two ways a supernova can occur. It can occur during the last stages of a dying, massive star. By massive, we mean a star which weighs at least 10 power 31 kilograms, that is one with 31 zeros. The massive star suddenly implodes during its last stages, unable to hold against gravity, resulting in a supernova. The second way in which a supernova can occur is when a white dwarf accumulates enough mass from its binary companion. The end result of a supernova explosion is either a neutron star or a black hole, both exotic objects. A supernova can be as bright as an entire galaxy at its peak, and will fade over months. Indeed, a supernova is a rare and fantastic phenomenon. Data suggests that supernovae occur in a galaxy thrice in a century, making them an extremely rare phenomenon. If a supernova occurs anywhere in our vast Milky Way, it is expected to be visible via modern telescopes, unless blocked by space dust. Material many times the mass of the Sun is expelled at speed several percent of the speed of light in a supernova explosion. This sends a shockwave in the surrounding interstellar medium, sweeping up an expanding shell of gas. This shockwave, when it hits clouds of hydrogen gas, can trigger the formation of new stars. In fact, that is how our Sun formed. With a nearby supernova, our Sun was born. But will the Sun itself die with a supernova blast? Let's first get to know a little more about our Sun. Our Sun is a very ordinary star among 100 billion others dotting our Milky Way. It is a massive ball of ionized gases or plasma, with three quarters of its mass made of hydrogen gas. The Sun is eight light minutes away from the Earth, meaning light from the Sun takes eight minutes 19 seconds to reach us. The Sun is massive, with a diameter of 864,600 miles. 109 Earths could line up inside the Sun's diameter. Did you know that the Sun is so huge that it makes up 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system? The Sun also rotates on its axis just like the Earth's 24-hour rotation. As the Sun is so massive and made entirely of gas, its equator rotates faster than the poles. Isn't that amazing? Its equatorial region takes about 25 days to complete one rotation, while the polar regions rotate more slowly, taking 35 days to complete one rotation. The temperature of the surface of the Sun is around 5000 Kelvin. But now let's come to the main factor which decides whether a star can end its life by exploding in a supernova. As mentioned before, only stars having a mass of at least 10 power 31 kilograms can explode in a supernova. Now the Sun's mass is 2 into 10 power 30 kilograms, which is 5 times lesser than that needed for a star to die as a supernova. Essentially, what it means is that only stars with a mass 5 times that of our Sun can die as a supernova. But then, how will our Sun die? Though not a supernova, the death of our star is going to be no less fascinating. The life cycle of a star like our Sun is very fascinating. 
Currently our sun is around 4.5 billion years old. After our sun is around 10 billion years old, and has used up most of its fuel, which is hydrogen, it will balloon into a red giant, consuming mercury. But as it expands, it will also get cooler. For about 1 billion years, it will continue to exist in this red giant phase. At this point, the blown up red giant's core will not remain hot enough to oppose gravity, and it will give in to gravity. Its core will collapse, leading to an explosion of the outer layers. Our sun, at this point, will engulf all planets till Earth. The sun won't be very stable at this point, and will continue to blow off its outer layers. The hot core remaining after this stage is what we call a white dwarf. A white dwarf is the size of the Earth, but weighs as much as the Sun, making it a super dense, super hot object with immense gravity. Subramanian Chandrasekhar, an Indian American physicist, gave an upper limit on the mass of white dwarfs. He worked out that a white dwarf which weighs more than 1.44 times the mass of the Sun, won't be able to hold against gravity, and will explode as a supernova. Chandrasekhar, after whom the famous Chandra X-ray Observatory is also named, won a Nobel Prize for his work on stellar evolution. So to sum up, no, our sun can never become a supernova because it doesn't have enough mass. Consequently, the end stage of our sun can never be a black hole, as black holes form only as a result of a supernova explosion. The end stage of our sun is rather going to be another interesting object which is a white dwarf. Isn't that remarkable? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.